it, at six, you need a future Hall of Famer. If yeah. you stay at six, you need a like you need a not not a good player, a future Hall of Famer, a guy wow. who's a five time All Pro. It's overtime. Brief, abbreviated version today as we'll be back in full force <laughs> the show a week from today. John McMullen, Rob Body, Jason Martinez is kind enough to hang out with us. Overtime brought to you, as you see, by the great people at Book It Sports. Go to any marketplace of choice, Google or Apple, and download the Book It Sports app. You can partake in a really cool sports betting community and be a part of what we do each and every Wednesday here with Jeff Parles at 1240 Eastern and more on the app. Even Barrett is up on that app all right let me further this conversation for another four minutes and then we'll be out of here on this futures not futures from a betting standpoint but what's what's next for the eagles what is the next what is the very next move we know the flyers right now have a ridiculous schedule in front of them they're playing well so they can make up some ground the sixers are Exactly what they've been, dominant at home outside of a hiccup here or there and terrible on the road, and they need to get their sights ready. All-star break will help, and then they're back in there. College, Nova lost to Butler, so they're off our map. We don't care anymore. What's And Phillies, it's going to take a little bit for them to ramp up. What's the next move for the Philadelphia Eagles right now at 134 in the afternoon or 101 34 in the afternoon? Shedding salary. <laughs> yeah, keep Zach Ertz. Ertz. Keep dumping. Zach, yeah, Zach Ertz is the next uh, domino. Where's he Which, going? Uh, Chargers him. have been in the mix. They, they'll probably cut him. him. Yeah. Wait they a second. Cut him. Can't, really? You can't, you're telling me you can't get, you can't get a third or fourth round pick? No, no. You might get a late round pick. Wow. Yeah. Six, just, just so they can control that he doesn't go to the open yeah, market. Exactly. That's the only reason. Which is you know, crazy Marcus, that you can't get one for him. That you can't get a, a, a fifth or a sixth round pick for Zach Ertz is no, worth my you, mind. They might get a, a late round pick, a sixth round conditional pick, something like that. For exactly the reason Jason said, if you don't want to deal with other teams. Yep. Um, but Marcus Mariota, we were talking about uh, – because of John Clark, I just looked it up. He's making ten point six million dollars as a backup quarterback. So the Raiders got to move on. Um, and there's no dead money that they don't eat, so they're going to no. release. Yeah. Um, same thing with Zach Ertz. Teams realize the Eagles got to move on, yeah. uh, so they can play that game, little game of chicken. It's amazing. But but, but the the problem is is again if, if they play that game of chicken, then there's thirty one other teams. Well, yeah. And I that's know. why you might get a late 30. round pick. Yeah. So uh, if somebody doesn't want to deal with that, they don't have confidence in recruiting him. On the other hand, behind the scenes, you get a little wink, wink. I want to play in Southern California, say, you know, Chargers might know that. Agents Went to Stanford. talk to teams. Yeah. 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 Boy, that that would be wild. So if that's the case, they would sign Mariota. Think about it. Let's think this through. If they sign Mariota, then we immediately stop talking about drafting a quarterback. Because no. he's trying to – right? You're going to no. add a third quarterback, number six, to Hurts and – I don't think they sign Mariota unless they're getting, they're getting him at close to or a little above a veteran's minimum. You're not, you're not going to invest a lot of money in a backup quarterback. Sal yeah. just said, do the deal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. I have nightmares from that summer. Yeah, you and me both. I, I mean, I, I think quarterback is realistic at six for the Eagles. I mean, Rob knows this team for years that Howie, going back to 2016, talked about quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. When you're up that high, you have to take advantage of it at that position. So if they like a guy, they're going to think about it. Okay. You know, one thing we haven't talked about is, and just, Bear with me for about a minute here. And over time, we'll be back some capacity on Tuesday here. But what the the option of drafting a non quarterback at six, I don't feel like is being discussed nearly at all. It's really just they're going to take a quarterback at six, or they're going to trade back, which is a Howie thing to get more draft picks. It doesn't feel like there's any talk about well, what if Sewell's there, or what if 
Chase uh, Pitts. Is there. Yes, Pitts is another one is there. It feels like, and again, maybe I'm misreading the room here, but it feels like there isn't really much discussion at all about the Eagles taking a non-quarterback at six. I still think it's more likely non-quarterback than quarterback because ultimately I think the quarterbacks are getting pushed up the board. I don't they think, always do. Yeah, I don't think Fields is going to be there at six. So ultimately you're going to have to choose between Devontae Smith or, or, or Kyle Pitts or Sewell or somebody of that nature. And I think you got to be careful about trading down. That, that second tier – is probably right at like 10 or 11. So you yeah. can't go back too far. And, and this is a big draft. They can't miss. Yeah. They can't the miss. Thing. You yep. can't. You, and you got to come out of this draft with three, four quality starters. And, and at six, you need a future Hall of Famer. If yeah. you stay at six, you need a, like, you need a not, not a good player, a future Hall of Famer, a guy well, who's a five-time All-Pro. Yeah, how about, how about a guy yeah, that's just an All-Pro, how he's drafted one? And he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Since 2014, one Pro Bowl player. And yeah, he's I mean, not here. That's pathetic. It's pathetic. Good. That's why you're here at 411 and 1. We need a 30 for 30 mm -hmm. on who had more job security Sam Hinkie or Howie Roseman? Because uh, I, Howie, Howie. Well, Sam was pushed out. I mean, well, eventually by the he, league. And but remember, Sam, yeah, Sam was pushed out by the NBA. There were times, though, before he got put, just because the end, like, we'll see how Howie's ends. We don't know how Howie's tenure here is going to end. So we have the benefit of hindsight with Sam. But remember, what Sam Hinkie was doing for three years that eventually got the, he had the league fire him. Who yeah. in sports, outside of Donald yeah. Sterling, like outside of just doing something so heinous and offensive, <clears throat> had a league come in and fire you? Well, they yeah. didn't fire him. He resigned because well, the, his power on. was taken away and he was by, a mad scientist. Well, yeah, yeah. by Adam Silver. He yeah. basically it, told Josh Harris, you do what I say. Well, I'm bringing Colangelo in. The old when man. your when your advice. resignation letter is described as a manifesto, you're a little bit off the rails. Yeah. I'll just say that about Sam. Yeah, him and Gabe Kapler live on the same planet. I'm Neptune. That Gabe cut. <laughs> oh, well, all right, all right, gentlemen. Thank you guys. Appreciate you all having hey, boys Thanks to the stream. We'll be back overtime. Brought to you by Book It. Looking for a place to track your action, purchase picks, and share your sports betting analysis with the gambling community? Check out Book It Sports, a social media platform with an unparalleled experience catered for the sports betting community. On the Book It Sports app, you can track all your NFL, NBA, and college basketball picks while getting real-time updates and injury reports all in one convenient place. Start building your following and stand out amongst your friends by downloading Book It Sports today on the Apple and Google Play stores. Let's cash some tickets and put it on Book It. The, the middle. The middle. That's what I told you, but I got a hangover, man. So what is this hangover? Hard. Yeah, what's with this hangover? Right, I mean, what, what, what happened yesterday? Cheap vodka, bro. Cheap vodka, man. What? what, what? Well, I took yeah. pineapple vodka with the pineapples, and I infused it for like a That's week too or much two. pineapple. Pineapple it, is and terrible. It was, too, it, was, it was so sweet that you would just, just keep on drinking, and I just kept on drinking it. Do you say you took pineapple vodka and then infused it into pineapples? Yes. I mean, there's there's sorority girls right now at Penn State that are <laughs> laughing at you, Barrett. He took pineapple vodka and infused it into pineapples. Oh, I my. thought it would be a better taste, and it was a better taste. It was a great taste. It just went down too fast. Went down way too fast, oh, man. My. And next thing you know, man, next thing you know, three shades to the wind. See, watching Queen Latifah. Oh, my this God. The That's the line of the day. <laughs> the Middle with Aton Shander, Barrett Brooks, and Harry Mays. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern.